Hi there, my name is Natasha Calzati from Sammy's Photo School. In the next two minutes, I will show you how to find your images quickly and efficiently in Lightroom Classic. Have you noticed that your images have badges in the Lightroom Library module? Let me show you how to use them much more efficiently. You may have noticed that you have these little badges on your thumbnails. Uh, the badges appear right in here and they also appear on your little film strip down below. Now I personally don't like having these badges on the film strip down below because they act like little buttons. So what I like to do is use a much skinnier film strip so I can use uh, more space in my library module so I kind of squeeze them down and what happens is, is when I squeeze them down sometimes I might click on a button that I didn't intend to so let me show you how I can turn these little badges off all you need to do is right click on your frame click on view options and choose the option that allows you to ignore clicks on badges right here I also don't particularly need to see my badges down on the little film strip so I will right click on it again and click under view options and I'll choose to not show my badges and I'll, I will uncheck that little check mark. So now there's no badges and I can squeeze them down and I can click on different images if I wish to. So if I wish to click on this image, here I am, and now I can see the badges right there. So these badges are pretty handy. What I can do in these badges are, for example, this is my keyword badge. So if I click on that, it will show me the keyword. If I click on this badge right here, click and hold on it, it will show me all the collections that I may have this image in. So I'll come back to that in a minute. Here also I have a badge for the crop tool. So if I want to see what the image looked like originally, I can click on the crop tool and it will take me directly to the crop tool and I can see exactly how I cropped it. Now I'm going to press on the letter G to get right back into grid. I can also click on the little plus and minus and that will show me my basic adjustments again in develop modules. Quick way to get to the develop module. I'll press on the letter G once again to get back to the library mode. Now if I want to go to a different collection very quickly and see where this image also lives in, as far as collections go, I could go into a collection that I called, um, let's see, uh, print demo one up. So if I go in here, it takes me right into my print demo collection and there's the image. Or if I want to go right back to my work faster and smarter collection, then I'm right back into this collection. So I hope this helps you navigate your library module a little bit easier. Leave us a comment below if you find this helpful or maybe you can tell us how you use the different short keyboard commands in the library mode. That's all for this hidden tip. Please tap the subscribe button below and I will send you a new photo editing tip each week. And check out my online courses for photo editing at sammysphotoschool.com.